Apple has once again captured the spotlight and not with a new iPhone or MacBook, but with an innovative leap into artificial intelligence. Let's meet Ferret, Apple's latest marvel that's stirring the AI waters, challenging current market leaders like OpenAI in the process. Apple's Ferret is an open source machine learning model developed in collaboration with Cornell University. It's a multimodal large language model that can analyze specific regions of images to answer queries like ChatGPT and Google's latest Gemini AI model. Ferret was released on GitHub in October and is notable for its ability to understand and interact with visual content at a detailed level. But is this any better than ChatGPT? Let's dive right in. Apple's journey into AI is not new, but with Ferret, they're not just stepping into the arena, they're aiming to redefine it. So let's see what sets Ferret apart. It's the system's unprecedented ability to describe, process, and analyze images. And this is a feat that places Apple in direct competition with AI powerhouses like OpenAI. Apple has taken a bold step by introducing two sizes of Ferret models. So they have a 7 billion parameter version and a more robust 13 billion parameter counterpart that can process more information. The smaller model in particular is turning heads for its potential to operate seamlessly on iOS devices, bringing large language model capabilities directly to the palm of the hand of everybody holding an iPhone. This move aligns with a growing interest in deploying large language models in portable devices, a field where Apple is keen on leading. The 7 billion parameter ferret model stands out, challenging the conventional wisdom that bigger always means better by offering efficiency and performance that rivals larger models. Now complementing these advancements, Apple has also shared compelling research on LLM functionality within small devices. One paper unveils innovative techniques for 3D avatars hinting at potential applications in Apple's AR headset vision Pro. Another delves into efficient model inference, paving the way for smarter, more responsive AI applications on the devices we use every day. Now, diving deeper into the essence of Ferret, let's find out how it is multimodally. First and foremost, it's more than just simple image recognition or text analysis. Ferret embodies the seamless integration of both, setting a new standard for AI images and systems. Thanks to the Clip VIT model that it adapted, Ferret is a sophisticated engine for visual recognition. Now this model enables Ferret to dissect and interpret complex visual data, which is crucial for understanding the context and images of things. Now let's take a specific example to illustrate this point. Consider an image of a city street teeming with people, cars, and storefronts, the image has a caption that reads, the hustle and bustle of downtown life. Now, a conventional AI might recognize individual elements in the image or understand the text's literal meaning, but Ferret does a little bit more. Ferret analyzes the image, identifying and categorizing each individual element from pedestrians crossing the street to the array of vehicles and the vibrant signage. Simultaneously, it interprets the caption, connecting the textual description with the visual data to form a more coherent understanding of the whole scene's dynamic energy. Peering into the heart of Ferret, we discover the brand new features that elevates it beyond typical AI systems. Ferret claims quick adeptness with precise referring and detailed grounding. Now, precise referring is a capability where Ferret excels in identifying and describing specific elements within the image guided by textual input. Now imagine asking Ferret about the smallest car in the bottom right of a busy cityscape. Ferret claims that they can understand the context, pinpointing the exact vehicle amidst a complex visual tapestry. Now this is where Ferret is leaps ahead of giants like GPT-4. While GPT-4 may grasp the general scene, Ferret delves into the minute details, offering specific insights that GTP4 could overlook, especially in visually dense scenarios. Then there's detailed grounding, where Ferret's prowess shines even brighter. It's about more than recognizing the objects. It's about understanding their precise location and context within an image. Ferret says that their new model can draw virtual boundaries around objects 
no matter how small or intricately placed they are, providing a clear or more detailed visual explanation. But what underpins these groundbreaking capabilities? It's Ferret's technical architecture, designed for deep visual understanding. So unlike conventional models that might struggle with the complexity of real-world images or signs, Ferret thrives and dissects each scene with a surgical precision. This technical superiority is what brings its real-world applications that could transform industries like academic and healthcare. Take self-driving cars, for instance. Ferret's acute visual discernment could significantly enhance obstacle detection and situational awareness, making autonomous driving much more reliable. Now, what about augmented reality for a change? Ferret claims that they have the power to open up new vistas for immersive experiences. By understanding both the visual and contextual elements of the scene, AR applications can become more interactive and responsive, bridging the gap between the digital and physical worlds like never before. All right, now we've brushed up on some of the things that make Ferret phenomenal, so how does it really stack up against the leading AI models like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Google Bard. GPT is renowned for its linguistic prowess and depth of understanding, where a GPT's strengths lies in its vast knowledge base and the ability to generate human-like text, making it a real big powerhouse in tasks requiring deep linguistic analysis. However, when it comes to interpreting and understanding the visual world, GPT-4 may not be able to exhibit the same level of precision as Ferret. It can grasp the broader context of an image, like what is an image and what is it maybe talking about, but it will really struggle with fine-grained details, which Ferret can do astonishingly well. And aside from this, Ferret's introduction of a smaller yet more efficient model tailored for iOS devices is also a huge plus. This showcases a significant leap towards integrating advanced AI capabilities directly into consumer electronics, an area where traditional models like GPT-4, due to their size, are typically cloud dependent. But here's the thing, rumors about Apple's specific GPT, uh, tentatively dubbed Apple GPT, suggest a future where Apple's ecosystem becomes even more integrated. So what do you guys think about Ferret? Please share your comments and thanks for joining in on today's video.